Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Mithun Technologies. So my name is Bhaskar D. L. I'm the DevOps trainer in Mithun Technologies. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can install Docker in Ubuntu Linux server. So we can install this Docker in Windows operating system, Mac, and Linux platform. Again, in Linux, we have various uh, distributions are there, like Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora, Ubuntu, Suze Linux, like many distributions are there. So in this video, mainly we are going to discuss about this, uh, how we can install Docker in the Ubuntu Linux server. So for this one, the prerequisite is Ubuntu Linux server. We need to create it. Before going to create this uh, Linux server, first we'll discuss about that uh, how we can install this uh, Docker in Ubuntu server. So if you go to that uh, Docker official website, you will see. So if you go to browser. Let's go to this uh, browser. Just you can search here. Docker install. You will see here. Install Docker engine. Click on this one. So here you will see that. Uh, the detailed documentation. See here. Docker engine. Is also available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Right. So this section describes how we install Docker engine and Linux. Also, we can call as Docker Community Edition. And if you see here in this, uh, how we can install this Docker in Ubuntu. Click on this one. See here, CentOS is there, Debian, Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Suze Linux. Click on this Ubuntu. The prerequisites. See here. To install Docker engine, you need you need the 64-bit version of the version of one of the one of these Ubuntu versions 64 uh, 24.10 24.0 LTS long-term support like this. So using this our AWS account, we are going to create this Ubuntu servers. And also, if you scroll down, you will see here installation methods we can install this docker in various ways install using the apt repository so just you can execute these commands it is going to download this uh, docker related uh, packages from apt repository so we are using that apt command or apt hyphen get command to get the Packages from the APT repository. So if it is a Red Hat or Amazon, we are going to use the M, M command. Right. So you can, after downloading those packages, just you can execute this one. We are configuring here. Right. Then you can check that uh, whether it is uh, successfully installed or not. Right. So for that one, we can use that uh, Docker info docker iphone iphone version or docker version all these things you can execute it so let me create a one ubuntu linux server so already i logged into my aws account click on this launch and i am going to give the name as docker server so we'll select this uh, Ubuntu. So by default, it is going to select the Amazon Linux. We'll go with this Ubuntu. So here we are going to see Ubuntu server 24.04 LTS. This is the required version for installing this Docker. Then instance type, T2 micro. T2 micro, we are going to get that 1 GB RAM and one virtual CPU. That is more enough just for practicing the Linux commands. But in the real organization, in the real environment, 
it is not possible why because we are going to cre create that multiple containers docker containers so if you want to create multiple docker containers you should have that uh, more server resources like cpu ram and all even hard disk also because to store the images and all external files so we'll go with the t2 micro and uh, keep it so already i created this one select this one and uh, leave this default uh, vpc and uh, secure group and uh, hard disk space 8 gb this is more enough you can go with the default uh, say configurations then click on launch instance once the server is ready we'll connect to this uh, Linux server. So just refresh it. Server is ready. Let me connect to this one. Click on SSH client. Copy. Okay. First, go to the folder. Very very pim files are there. Service. So, already we know, right? If you create a Amazon Linux server, if you create a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server in our AWS account, by default, it is going to take that EC2 iPhone user. In the same way, if you create that Ubuntu Linux server, the default username is Ubuntu. Right? This is a normal user, but this user having the pseudo privileges, right? Now we'll go to this um, Docker official website. So we are going to install in here. If you see that install using the convenience script. So Docker is providing that uh, one script already it's existed. See, just you can execute this command. It is going to download that script already we know curl is the command which can be used to download the software see curl and from this website we are downloading that script whatever the script which we are going to get we are storing in this particular file we are saving see here this file name your wish whatever you want iphone o output of this whatever the curl command we are saving into this particular file then we are executing this command See here, they are using one option, iPhone, iPhone, dry run. See here, preview the script steps before running. You can run the script with the iPhone, iPhone, dry run option to learn what steps the script will run when it is invoked. But really, it is not going to install. Just it will give that what are the steps it is going to involve when you are installing. So if you want to install, remove this option. Simply you can execute these two commands. You can execute these two commands or you can make uh, these two commands as a single command. Here what we are doing, sudo curl, this command, curl command output, we are giving the input to this uh, bash command. Bash is the default shell, right? See here, we are using the pipe symbol. Just if you execute this uh, command, one command, it is going to install rather than executing these two commands. So let me execute this one, this command. So it is uh, installing. So it will take some time to install this uh, Docker. See, executing the Docker install script. So it's a uh, Installing now. So if you want, you can go through this uh, script also. It's installing now. See here. It is a uh, uh, apt get install docker ce docker cli container d.io docker compose plugins. It's like this, uh, many. Packages it is installing. 
So using the M command or AP ticket, we can install the multiple packages at a time, but you have to give that uh, separated by space. So it's installed. So now we need to check that uh, whether Docker is installed or not. Just take it Docker iPhone iPhone version, which version of Docker has installed. See, Docker 28.0.1 version has installed. Or you can use this Docker space version. See here. It's, and uh, we are getting this error permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon. See, da this Docker daemon is already running. Just you can execute uh, system CTL. Da this uh, status Docker. See, it is running. Docker dot service Docker application container engine is running, but we are getting the error. Sir, no. see permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon. Then what to do? Docker D. So as a normal user, if you execute this one, Docker info, we are going to get the error. Let's see, permission denied. But if you use this sudo and you can execute this one, Docker info, we are not getting any error. It is giving the detailed information about this uh, server. Without uh, sudo, we will get the client, this uh, Docker engine client information we are going to get. But the server information we are not going to get it. Right. So when we are going to discuss about this uh, Docker architecture, that time we will discuss what is the client, what is this uh, server, what it gives that all the information and all. So, even though you are uh, executing as a normal user, any normal user, but I want to get uh, without uh, sudo. Suppose, assume, anyway, you want to having the sudo privileges. So, if you use this sudo, we are going to get it. But assume, I created one user called as Bhaskar user. Bhaskar is a normal user. But Bhaskar doesn't have the sudo privileges. In that case, if you execute like this one, using sudo docker info, it is not going to work. In that case, what to do? We need to provide that all this Docker access to that normal users. So by default, it is going to create a one Docker group. After while installing this Docker, it is going to create a one user called as a, one group called as Docker. So we need to add that user to whom we need to provide access that user into this group, like this one sudo user mode iphone ag this is a group name this is a user name okay so now let's execute this one see now you can execute this is a docker info but even though we added but still we are getting the error just execute docker ps it is doing the permission denied. Why? The solution is logout. After a first time you are installing all these things, you can log out even though you added. Right. So how to know whether this user is belongs to this Docker group? Very simple. Just you can use this groups Docker. See that? This uh, uh, so you you want to username you have to specify. See here, <coughs> this uh, Ubuntu user belongs to this uh, Docker group. We added. So now just uh, log out. Again, you can re-log in to this server. Connect to this server. We connected now. Now you can execute. Docker PS, it is working. Docker info, see, without giving any error, it's working. So, like this, uh, 
you can install this docker in ubuntu server so already i documented these steps in our blog so if you go to our blog see we have one youtube channel one blog and this one facebook url page is there please follow this one for any free webinars and for this youtube channel we have many videos are there which are very useful to the devops professionals please subscribe and click on this bell icon and go to this blog url so here already if you go to this one many posts which we created click on this docker the label name here you will see that all the docker commands and uh, see here install docker in linux server you want to server how we can install right amazon linux server so like this uh, we documented we documented long back 5 years back but my suggestion is just go through this one as a reference but to follow this uh, official website and follow this official website right because here you are going to get the all the updates and this uh, website is maintained by the the official docker team right so my suggestion is just follow this one and if you need any reference go through our blog and this is our youtube channel mithun technologies devops here we have many videos which are very useful to any devops professional we created many videos go through this youtube channel and please subscribe click on this bell icon so that if you if we upload any new video you will get notification from our channel so if you have any questions you can reach out to mithun technologies by using this phone number or you can send a one email to devops training beller@gmail.com thank you